Hi everyone. Welcome to the channel. I hope you guys are doing good today. I really do. <clears throat> well, I'm not really sure what to talk about today other than, um, well, my solar generator is stranded. So, some job I really did, you guys, trying to get ready for the great blackout. Y'all, at this point, if it comes, it comes. I have a gas generator, you know, my husband's going to have to help me. And he's, he said he knows how to do it, so, <clears throat> you know, we have enough gas probably for a little while. But I was really hoping to, you know, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. I, now the other night, whatever it is, first of all, that's going around, they're not telling us everything. There's something else going around, and it's, it's weird. I don't think they're letting us know. Um... It's not affecting me very well, but I'm kind of used to that at this point. So, you know, in terms of being ready for the great um, cyber polygon thing to happen, I just don't think that... Uh, I don't know if I've done the greatest job in prepping. I, I probably could have done a lot better. I just, you know, when you're dealing with an illness, it's kind of, I don't know, it steals a lot from you. And I'm not complaining. I'm just letting you know. I probably don't have to let you know. You probably already know. You know, days turn into Days turn into months, turn into years, and sometimes I wonder if I'd never heard about it, if I'd be feeling better about things, you know. My grandmother was like that. You know, she lived through the Great Depression and everything. She always, nothing ever got under her skin. She was the most easygoing, relaxed person I ever knew in my whole life. I really miss her. She didn't get her feathers, you know, they, her feathers didn't get all ruffled over anything. She said these kind of things, no matter what, they just, they come and they go. She was really zen that way. Of course, she would say that she was born with a bad case of laziness and that it just keep, kept relapsing over and over. But no, she wasn't lazy. Anyway, um, what's going around is like making me really dizzy and um, I don't know. Odd. I feel like I'm hearing and listening to everything through a tunnel. And now I'm not going to go get tested for anything. I'm just not going down this weird alley. They've got everybody going down. You know, if they shut the power off, they shut the dang power off. Now, we've made it how many thousands of years with that electricity? You know, my gosh. If we're just that soft, then I, I don't know. I wish I had some great advice. All I can tell you is to treasure treasure your health if you have it. Treasure it. You know, we've had a lot of uh, different end time scenarios. Had, we've had nuclear war, famine, plague, 
Uh, power going out. Space aliens. I don't think anybody from outer space would come down here. I think I might make a hard right turn in the solar system. You know, it's going to be okay, guys. Everything is going to be okay. That's what my grandmother always told me. She looked at me 100. She said, oh, don't worry about it. They'll all work out. And I guess in this today's world, it makes <clears throat> that would make me um, sound full of hopium. Well, anyway, whatever it is they've sprayed us with or whatever it is that they put it, put out there, it's, there's definitely something weird going on. You know, there's some kind of strange virus, you guys, and um, I can't even drive. Nothing like that. So while I was up, I just wanted to let you know, guys know that I, I really love all my subscribers. I really do. I appreciate y'all a whole bunch. And, um, you know, life is a really strange place. The world is. It's just a really strange place. Okay, guys. I'll talk to y'all really soon. Love y'all. Bye-bye.